guys, how's it going? Tez back again with another episode of Pac-Man. It's number 12, and as you can see, we've sold on a few of the things we got in the packs in the previous episode or two. They've moved on for a little bit of cash, which is very, very nice indeed. will come in handy, but what else will come in handy is the fact that we've got a season ticket pack, and of course, considering we've now made the move to gold, I don't feel guilty about uh, about opening it, and it is, in fact, a 7,500 coin gold premium pack as opposed to a, just a normal 5k coin pack, which I thought it was. So we're going to open it up. We're going to see if we get anything spectacular in it, and in fact, we don't. We don't get any rare players whatsoever. We get Wes Brown, uh, although a, a couple of Argentinian players which will come in handy actually. Santana plays for uh, Genoa in Serie A, which will come in handy. And uh, Valeri, who uh, plays for Portland Timbers, won't come in handy immediately. But uh, we have got quite a build-up of uh, Argentinian players now. We've got, obviously, a Brazilian squad. And if we continue to get some uh, some few Argentinian players, then maybe we can build an Argentinian squad as well. But the, uh, the lad from Genoa, Santana, will fit straight into the Italian team. You can see I've put him on the bench there. Uh, but uh, we're going to go into this one with the La Liga stroke Russian side that we've kind of thrown together that from the uh, the packs we've opened so far. We've come up against a really weird side. He's got a CM and CDM in Pogba and Matuidi at CAMs. And then two CAMs at CDM with uh, Gurkouf and I think, is it Grenier, the other Leon's CAM? I, I, uh, I forget. But uh, the back line is four centre-backs, none of which, as far as I'm aware, have any pace, and a silver goalkeeper. So I was a bit confused, to be completely honest, as to uh, why he built this particular team. But that ball was, oh, was so good through to Tosic. We take a 1-0 lead early on. But to play that ball in behind two defenders and use Tosic's pace to full effect down that right-hand side was absolutely superb. And then we take a 2-0 lead through Luis Nato. 18 minutes in, we are convincingly in front, and then we're actually going to make it 3-0. Karani has a decent effort that's well saved. He's going to try and clear it, but the ball's going to drop to Tosic. Does actually have a decent left foot. We get a little bit fortunate with the rebound, and then the third attempt finally sees the ball into the back of the net to give us a third goal in the 22nd minute. So dominant in this first half, and we were actually going to pick up a fourth before the end of the half. Karani makes a lovely run through the middle. The uh, the goalkeeper gets to it, and again we get lucky with the deflection. Falls to Tosic, and it's just a simple finish through the uh, through the defender into the back of the net and he decided to rage call me which was frustrating because we've been uh, we've been scoring a lot of goals having a lot of chances would be nice to get some more goals and some more coins out of that one we do get just shy of 400 coins but that is our first win in a very long time so we're uh, delighted to get off the mark and uh, after picking up a couple of points in the previous episode we now pick up a win with that second side we come up against another very decent side actually this time uh, Premier League side Begovic Jose Enrique Yanger and Biwa Basong as P. Sien, De Bruyne, uh, Morales, Matt Jarvis, Boney, and Andy Carroll just as it disappears off screen. I kind of rushed through that. Managed to do it. Tosic is breaking down the right-hand side. Koke's there early on. Fourth-minute goal again for the second game in a row. And it's a fantastic header from Koke. He genuinely is a wonderful player. I've really, really enjoyed playing with Koke, even in a team that doesn't really suit his style of play or have any sort of chemistry. And again, we get lucky with a Karani goal. That, uh, that falls back with a deflection through the goalkeeper and defender on the second attempt. And we take a 2-0 lead, but he's actually going to pull one back here through Andy Carroll. He's going to slide on to the end of this one, slot it underneath the goalkeeper. And I thought, OK, it's fine. Let's uh, let's firm things up at the back, try and push on and make sure we get that two-goal lead back again. And that is exactly what we did. Tosic is going to pick the ball up here, give it a whack from distance. And the movement on that ball is absolutely superb. I think it's just because of the, uh, the new real ball physics and the pure shot engine. But the way that dips and swerves to the left, left hand side at the same time to hit the inside of the post is so unbelievably good genuinely Tosic's left foot is an absolute wand he scores some screamers for us in this game and then into the second half we head he's actually going to score one here he's going to cut inside on his left foot after the deflection really tidy left foot finish across the goalkeeper into that four corner but that wasn't even the best of them this one the run beats the one defender unfortunately I decided to turn back into Yanger and Biwa beats him a second time and oh that's dreamy that is such a good finish I was going absolutely ballistic down the mic when uh, I was in a party when I actually scored that going out of my mind at Tosic his left foot is just so good that is absolute stanch this is post patch as well that is post finesse patch and that is just gorgeous and uh, unfortunately he's going to pull one back with Boney here to make it 5-2 but nonetheless we are going to push on and score a couple more to uh, confound uh, or 
not really confound what is the uh, the word I'm looking for what a strike from Koke another fantastic goal from uh, from him and uh, that is 6-2 and then in comes the seventh Granqvist this time getting on the other uh, end getting on the end of a header from a corner to wrap it up at 7-2 and that is the biggest win we've had so far on this uh, this entire Pac-Man series which is absolutely superb it's great to finally have a team that can compete at this Division 8 level and hopefully we can survive this season and hopefully we can uh, you know, progress further next year and as you can see we have survived this season those two wins are vital we've got one game left but we're not going to get to play it because uh, we can't get promoted etc but making the move to gold has staved off relegation so a thank you to you guys for uh, making that decision for us it's your decision that has saved us relegation this season hopefully we can push on from here on in into the next few seasons so uh, we're going to open a seven and a half thousand coin pack rather than a fire cup i thought you know we've we've stayed up it's been a fantastic end of season let's treat ourselves with a seven and a half k pack no rare players in it yet again so uh canny aguilar and icardi another Serie A player another uh, la liga player can he all slot in very nicely into the team that we've just played with so uh, and another argentinian as well crucially so hopefully they can fit in well to the squads that we're building we got three or four squads on the go actually we haven't actually played with all of them yet i don't think but uh that is going to wrap this particular episode up so please do feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind guys there will be a link in the description as well to subscribe if you haven't already and an annotation on screen over the pac-man and if you missed the previous episode in this series then feel free to click on the pink ghost on your screen and that will take you to that video in question so thank you very much for watching guys and i will see you next time